So let's see how we use machine learning for getting uh, performance portability. So traditional HPC codes were relying on OpenMP or MPI to be executed on distributed memory supercomputers like Cori, right? Um, now, um, modern exascale supercomputers are massively composed of GPUs and programmers have to offload their codes to the GPU. And these GPU come from different vendors, right? So some programmers decide to have only one backend writing a portable language like Cocos, while others, uh, they prefer to have different backends depending on the target architecture, like having one backend in SQL, other backend in heap, other backend in CUDA. Um, in any case, you have to find the optimal values for the performance parameters of any backend, right? And unfortunately, we cannot run an exhaustive search nowadays. It's infeasible. Uh, we cannot try all possible configurations. So we have to find a um, cheap and efficient uh, tuning search mechanisms for finding the optimal configuration for every um, target architecture. And performance portability, as you probably know, is the ability to have good performance across different platforms. And performance can be influenced by different system architectures, different programming models, different algorithmic variants, or different input problems. So any change on one of these four components will affect the achieved performance. Okay, so we focus on density functional theory or DFT workflows because they are workhorse in, in science nowadays. And also there is this recent survey in NERS that says that 70% of computation time is spent on DFT-ish uh, codes. So that's an important um, workflow to, to optimize. But uh, our methodology can be applied to any other scientific um, application, not only to DFT, right? And in our case, uh, we have codes that have up to 100 million possible configurations. And as I said before, to find the optimal uh, configuration, we cannot uh, explore the whole search space. Uh, so reviewing the literature, we found really interesting Bayesian optimization. Uh, this is a machine learning technique for optimization um, where you only explore the promising regions of the search space. So this minimizes the total number of evaluations that you require to find the mini, the local, uh, sorry, <laughs> to find the optimal configuration for your platform. So let's see this performance portability example. We want to move our DFT application from platform one to platform two. So when we ran the search, uh, the tuning search on platform one, it required 193 evaluations to find the optimal configuration. And now that we are moving to platform two, we ran again this tuning search and it took uh, 918 evaluations. So the first challenge that we are facing or we had to, to address was, do I really need to run a fresh tuning search from scratch each time that I'm moving to a new platform? Because this is not efficient, right? So to overcome this issue, we came up with transfer learning. So transfer learning, is, um, we are using data from previous tuning searches on other platforms to accelerate the search in the new platform. So we, we ran again the tuning search in the new platform, in the platform two, but this time using transfer learning, uh, we only need 430, so half of the uh, evaluations that we required before to find this optimal configuration. Another challenge that we, we face it is um, Bayesian optimization is an inherently sequential workflow, but we have a lot of parallel resources in modern supercomputers. So we propose a few different approaches to yeah, try to parallelize this search and accelerate the searching time. And also uh, another important challenge that we face it is, um, yeah, Bayesian optimization is not really well suited for more than 20 dimensions, which means more than 20 tuning parameters. So we came up with a methodology to split these high dimensional tuning searches into several low dimensional, lower dimensional tuning searches. So these are the results for different tuning and performance portability scenarios, uh, starting like going uh, top down. So um, yeah, for this real time DFT on per matter, it was based on GPU and MPI code and it had 20 parameters to be tuned. In our case, uh, this tuning search, uh, well, it had, the search space was more than 50 million configurations. Um, modern HPC auto-tuners, they were not able to, to handle it, but we used our 
um, high dimensional methodology to split this search into five lower dimensional searches and we made it. Also, we have ported uh, different atomic and electronic structure calculations from NVIDIA GPUs to AMD GPUs, specifically from Permatter to, to Crusher. Um, in this case, the search space was around 100,000 configurations, and we uh, got a 50% of reduction in the required number of evaluations compared to a regular based optimization uh, search. And also, uh, we also got some interesting insights, like the same configurations on AMD and NVIDIA led to completely different performance behaviors. And finally, we also ported this uh, DFT application from Cori to Permatter. And in this case, uh, using our methodology, we got a 47% of reduction in the required evaluations compared to a regular basin optimization. So we see that uh, it's working pretty well for performance capability. And yeah, let me know if you have any question or feel free to reach me out. Thank you.